What it do, guys? How we doing today? Uh, this is Holy Mike on EPG Gaming Studios, guys. I'm happy to be dropping some information for y'all. So, it turns out that, um, it turns out that, uh, well, um, there's some seven. So, Watchdog Legions is coming out soon. Uh, looks like this. Um, so, Watchdog Legions is coming out soon. I know to a lot of people, uh, you're gonna plan on getting the game. I know I'm excited about getting the game. Um, I have it pre-ordered on all my consoles. Uh, it's gonna be coming out. I'm, I get it actually a day early, so I'm happy about that. But anyway, besides that, um, I know a lot of people are excited about the game, and I know I'm pretty excited. So we're talking about seven things, uh, seven things that you should be aware about before the, before the launch of the actual uh, before the launch of the game. And then we'll do it before you buy a video a day before the actual game come out as well as also. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and appreciate it guys. We're gonna be doing a lot of Watch Dogs Legion content. I'm pretty excited for it so make sure you guys stay uh stay informed of this channel. So yeah let's get right into it. So for starting number one number one is the fact that you can uh interact with any NPC as, you, as you're choosing. Any NPC on the actual, um, on the whole entire London streets you can interact with, build a relationship with, and have them join your actual gang of, your know, little gang or thing here or whatever. Remember though, um, you can pick any NPC to join. Every NPC is interactable, and each NPC has their own backstory and ab abilities uh, that some NPCs won't have and some N NPCs will have. So each NPC is going to be useful in some kind of way of doing things. But that's now now for number two. Number two, um, once your NPC dies during a mission, you have uh, make sure you have a team built up because you will the more. The, the more of them that die, then uh, you're gonna have to get more of them on your team. So make sure you fill up enough NPCs. I would recommend not doing any missions until you have enough people in your squad, um, because the more NPCs you lose, the more NPCs you're gonna have to go find. The make sure your team, and also understand the fact is that that's an important thing to make sure you have enough NPCs on your team. Dude. Number three, um. Each NPC is put in every cutscene, and the cutscenes are very smooth. Uh, they don't look at all any kind of, uh, they don't look like put in just for the game. The AI, the AI does a very good job of putting the NPC in every cutscene the way it needs to be. Nothing different, nothing, uh, no, it doesn't look strange at all. It looks very much meant for that cutscene. Look like, it looks like nothing, it looks like everything is, it looks like that character is supposed to be in that cutscene, which is actually kind of cool to see. Now, for number four, actually. Um, the game's only going to want to 4K 30 FPS. We're not going to get 60 FPS. I know it's a next gen title, but sadly, we're not going to be able to get 60 FPS on on this game accordingly. Maybe there might be a patch later down the road, but we're only going to get 4K 30 FPS when the game first launches. Um, that reminds that all next gen consoles and previous consoles as well. Um, also. Number five, the game is launching a Halloween. I just want to say that real quick. The game is launching a Halloween. Number six. That the fact is, is that so when you go on each mission, now each ability you can hack different robots, you can hack different things. Um, there's some different abilities. You can even hack some drones. There's a uh, one lady that you can actually get, and she can actually use different drones as a specialty. And also the different abilities that each of them, like this, for example, in this clip here, this ability would be able to um, turn himself invisible. It has a different ability, which is kind of cool, uh, which I like that a lot. Now, for number seven, for number seven, actually, so the last point of view here is that, so each story is going to be different for each player. So, uh, it doesn't matter if, um, each, how the game finishes is going to be completely different for everyone that plays it, because it'll be a different NPC according to how you build your team. So, it means even if you watch gameplay videos online or you play with different people, each, each NPC will be completely different from how you see um from how anything completely how from different from how uh other players might see the game or how you might see the game each game is going to be com completely a different perspective and how you see it and how everyone else does so anyway guys those are seven things you're going to want to know with launch dogs legions i'm happy to be doing this video there's going to be more videos after uh after too 
And I hope you guys have a good one. This is Holly Mike EPG Gaming, guys. You guys have a good one.